What's the latest on the Deshaun Watson uh, trade? Is that popping? Is that the popping out of the toaster? Calm before the storm. What do you think? The calm before the storm. I think. I don't know. I've been trying to rattle the cages a little bit to see what may be going on today. Haven't heard anything back yet. The owners are in New York City. Stephen Ross was asked about it and wisely said nothing. The Dolphins owner can't say anything about a player under contract with another team unless he ends up potentially finding himself in trouble for tampering. So, you know, he'll be in the room with Cal McNair, the owner of the Texans, David Tepper floating around, the Panthers owner, and the Dolphins and the Panthers continue to be the two teams that people are paying the most attention to. I got it 75-25 Dolphins over Panthers, but I think it's going to get done by next Tuesday. You know, I don't know this, but I'm surmising based upon the various things I've heard, the things that people like Nick Casario, the Texans GM, and David Culley, the Texans coach, have said this season. They talk about taking it all day to day. I think at some point, somebody, now they could renege on this, but I think somebody told Watson they were trading him before the deadline. And I'm going to be surprised, very surprised at this point if it doesn't go down. What do you mean somebody told him? Just like, hey, sit tight? Bear with us. Don't show up and say, here I am, I want to play. Because you can't put a guy on paid leave unless he's okay with it. That was the blowback to the Terrell Owens situation from 05 when the Eagles eventually sent him home for the rest of the year and say, we'll send you your paycheck, just get the hell out of here. Keyshawn Johnson had that happen to him a few years earlier. You can't do that anymore. you got to have grounds to suspend a guy without pay. You can do it for up to four weeks, and that's it. You can't just pay a guy to go home. So he's got to be on board with it. So, you know, if they don't trade him by next Tuesday, and I'm not saying that he's going to do this, but in theory he could show up on Wednesday and say, I'm ready to play some football, and that's not what they want. Right. So what's why isn't he on the commissioner's exempt list already? Is it because the Texans have him on the Texans' exempt list and he's got them uh, on the Deshaun Watson exempt list, you know, um, or or there's no grounds for it just yet, which clears the way for a trade? What about it's that? a situation where make no decision until you absolutely positively have to. And I've had this told to me a couple of different times when I've poked around with the league office because the Dolphins actually contacted the league late August when this all first bubbled up because it looked like it was going to happen. There was that moment where the Texans had to decide, are we going to actually devote a roster spot to Deshaun Watson and have 52 guys on the team? What are we going to do with Deshaun Watson? Well, if you trade him, you got your 53-man roster free and clear. And it almost happened then. Texans wanted more than what the Dolphins were willing to do, but the league made it clear then. We're not telling you anything we haven't decided. We're not going to decide until we have to. And whatever the circumstances are, Rich, at the time he's traded, whatever is going on with the criminal cases, there are 10 criminal complaints that have yet to be presented officially to a grand jury. They will be at some point. Maybe he'll be indicted. Maybe he won't. We don't know how that's going to play out. But then there were the 22 civil cases. They almost settled them a few months back. The talks broke down over the issue of whether or not the settlements would be confidential. You don't get to that point if you don't have a loose understanding as to what the payment would be. That's not how it works. You know, you don't jump forward to other issues on the docket if you don't have an understanding of what the payment will be. So those deals could be done at any time. 22 cases could be resolved like that. And if the commissioner is considering what to do with Deshaun Watson, and he's resolved the 22 cases to the satisfaction of the 22 women who have made their complaints, that may counsel against putting him on paid leave while they wait to see what happens with the, the criminal situation. But at some point, the dust settles on the legal stuff, and that's when Watson faces a potential suspension without pay, like what happened to Ben Roethlisberger in 2010. He was sued once. He was accused another time, never charged with a crime, but he ended up being suspended six games, reduced to four. I think that Whoever gets Deshaun Watson has to expect at some point he's going to be suspended without pay for the, the loose understanding is six games. And also, he's the one back in you know the spring who was insisting on having no confidentiality, right? It's not like he's the one saying, I'm going to settle everything and nothing will ever get out. He wants everything public. At least that's what he was saying then. Has that stance changed in your estimation or no? Because that's another thing a team that's going to want uh, to acquire and would want to know, like, you know, what is going to come out, right? Like, what are we going to now own uh, through acquiring this player, right? The, the usual stance that the party who is writing the check will take in a case like this is to insist on confidentiality because whether it's a corporation, whoever, yeah, and, and usually it's corporation. I mean, you know, most of the cases – 
are brought against somebody with money yes. or an insurance policy. Otherwise, the lawyer's wasting his or her time. They always told us in law school there's three things, liability, damages, and collectability. You can have a great case, and you can put on the blackboard, if they have blackboards anymore, all sorts of dollars that were lost. But if you can't get any of it, it doesn't matter. It's a waste of your time. So the corporations that end up being sued, they don't want – people to find out how much they paid to make a case go away, because that's an invitation for more of the same. So they always want confidentiality. Watson didn't want it here. His lawyer, Rusty Harden, has fought against confidentiality. The lawyer for the plaintiffs wanted confidentiality. And that sends a message that whatever the amount is going to be, it's not all that much grand scheme of things. And the lower the amount the easier it is to create the perception that he just he just had his reckoning on this, gave the individuals some form of compensation, but ultimately not the kind of payment he would make if he was guilty of some sort of heinous conduct. And I think that's an important distinction, that he's the one that's saying, I want all of this to be open, because it, it is almost always the other way around. But you think one week from today we're going to see Deshaun Watson in a different uniform and and then – he will be ready to play? Like, let's just say it's Miami in, in their Week 9 contest. It's against entirely possible. Yeah, against the Texans. It's yeah. entirely possible he goes. I it's mean, entirely I, possible. Now, how long does it take to get him ready? I don't know. Will he be put on paid leave? We don't know. I, I don't think he will be, but we just don't know. The league hasn't sat down to make a decision. Now, they've interviewed a lot of the individuals who have made their complaints about Deshaun Watson. And, you know, there were some comments from Tony Busby, the lawyer who represents the 22 individuals, that they thought they were disrespected by the league and, and, or by the investigators. And, you know, sometimes that happens when you're asked tough questions about your version of events and you don't like being pushed and you don't like holes in your story being challenged and you start to think they don't believe me. And they're just, you know, they're just asking tough questions. And if... They don't like tough questions. When they get questioned by Rusty Harden in their depositions and at trial, it's going to be 100 times worse. But that, that made me wonder whether or not they came out of that interaction getting the sense that the league maybe didn't believe them the way that they thought the league would or should. So maybe the league isn't all that troubled, and maybe they will let him play. But, you know, if he's physically ready – if they can get him up to speed, in theory, he could play as soon as week nine. But, boy, that's a lot to ask for, especially if the trade doesn't happen until next Tuesday. Now, if it happens today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, you got a little extra time to get him ready for week nine. And, and, and uh, that's why I won't be surprised if it happens this week. If I'm Casario, I delay it to the last possible second. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Oh, you don't want to see him week nine. No. Oh, you're absolutely right. You know? not, not that they have a great chance of winning the game anyway, but you don't want no, Sean Watson not. for his first game with a new team to be sticking it to, to your team. Wow. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.